WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. And this is the last day of March. Those monthly candles are going to wrap up today. Oh, it's going to be an interesting close. And on this 28th day of February. The Dow's down 386 at 33,667. Off the lows, because last night, the moment the market opened, uh, the S&P dropped about 102 um, this is the E-mini futures, dropped about 102 points. So um, it's quite a bit off the lows, as is the Dow. And we're looking at this whole area. I said to subscribe to my opening call. The whole 33,600 to 33,500 needs to be support over the coming two days. That's Monday and Tuesday. So we will see what happens. Now we're looking at the S&P. The S&P at this particular moment is also down, also came off the lows, certainly off the lows of uh, the E-mini, way off. It's down only 38, I say only because let's face it, that's something, minus 38 at 4,346. The E-mini, if I can show you here, look, the E-mini slump, oh, it's actually green in the candle itself. The E-mini was down at the, uh, I believe it was the 42,051 area. And now it's 42,051, it's almost 100 points, 90 points higher. That, you know, we talk about a climbing a wall of worry in the, um, in the market. That's okay as long as it's not a barbed wire fence. We're looking at the QQQ, NDX 100, trading right now down $1.44 at 344.32. Um, not bad action after, fr after Friday's big move up. We'll see what happens at the close of the day. It needs to hold the 339 level, and actually 337 over the next two days. Below that's a real problem. So far, so good. IWM, the Russell 2000. IWM is also trading down 61 cents at 201.80, holding a little better than the others in the H that can potentially go to an M, lowercase m pattern. We're looking at gold, which had a huge move at the open last night. It's still up quite big. It's up 26 in 1914. Of course, it had a much bigger move on Thursday. It screamed all the way to 1976. So now it's at 1913. This is on the continuous contract. Look at crude oil. Crude oil has spiked higher. But now it's down from the high, up 320 and 94.20, hit 100.54 on the continuous contract the other day. And the TLT is finally having a little bit of a bounce. It's up to $1.92 with 138.78.